Hey ladies, uh, this video is obviously for um, the sugar babies out there that have chosen to engage in sexual activity with their SD. Okay, this video is not for everybody. It's for those people. Okay, if you do not believe in doing that and it's not part of your overall game plan with these men, then you probably don't really need this video. But I know there are some women that do choose to have sexual relations. And this video is for them. Hey ladies, I want to talk about marrying your sugar daddy that was possibly um, having an affair on his wife with you. One, I want to make it clear, I am not necessarily recommending that you have men on your roster that are married. Um, that's a personal decision that you must make. I'm not judging that, okay? I'm totally not judging that, and I'm also not <clears throat> recommending that you do that. I think in some situations, it's not worth it because it can bring you to a very low vibrational state. That type of situation is pretty much low or lower vibrating. Um, but I do understand that some people are coming into the situation where their life is on such a low vibrational level that even going into a situation like that is still a step up for them. Okay. If that's something you need to do because you're in some type of somewhat desperate situation, then by all means go and do what you have to do to create the life you want. Um, so I just want to make that clear first. Now I want to talk about women that have had all these SDs on their roster. And let's say for some reason you chose to um, date a man that you full well knew was married. And now you guys are at the point where he wants to marry you and be divorced from his current wife. Um I definitely think um, this type of situation, it can work out depending on what you are looking for, okay? If you're looking for a faithful, a sexually faithful and loving husband, you may not get that part out of being married to him. Yes, you may get um, the financial security, but it's very likely that he is not going to be able to provide you with fidelity because if he couldn't give it to his wife he very likely can't give it to you either and not because he doesn't want to okay at this point in the relationship where he is telling you oh my god um, I want to marry you and I don't want to be married to my wife anymore you're the one that makes me happy I'm deeply in love with you okay He's in a very infatuated state right now and probably because, you know, you guys are having sex and he's probably a sex and love addict. He's very, he's getting very chemically high in his brain from the relationship you guys are having. He's feeling so loved and so appreciated. He is providing for you. You know, he's, you know, he's getting very used to you. He loves spending time with you. You know, all the things that would make him feel good. And maybe his wife is kind of mean to him or doesn't appreciate him. Whatever reasons he has. And if he is addicted to sex and or love, you are basically his drug dealer right now. He's super high. He's super, super high. And he's even saying things to you like, oh, I would never, ever cheat on you. I would never cheat on you. When he's saying that to you, He's not necessarily lying, okay? He's just really high on the love and the validation right now. And truly, in his heart, he may completely feel like he has met the woman of his dreams that he would never cheat on because she is so perfect and so wonderful and makes him feel so good, okay? He can't see how he's going to feel in a year or two years or five years or ten years. He's going... He's going based on how he feels about you right now, okay? So, yes, when he says he will never cheat on you, never, he's not necessarily, like, lying right to your face. He could be completely convinced that this is how he feels, and he promises and swears for the rest of his life he is not going to cheat on you, and 
he doesn't even have the desire to cheat. He may very well be telling you the honest to God truth as he knows it right now at this current point in, in, in his life. You have to take into consideration that he's not a psychologist, okay? He's probably, you know, the CEO of a company or something like that. He's probably an engineer. He's probably a doctor. He's probably a plumber. Who knows? But he's not a psychologist. So he doesn't really completely understand that the way he feels right now is not necessarily how he's going to feel in the future. And maybe he's never had this level of excitement from a woman before. Maybe he got married young. Maybe he was in a very dull marriage. You know, who knows what the situation is. He's probably just never gotten this high on a woman before. So in his mind, he's like, I found true love. That's what this feeling is. I found true love and I will never be unfaithful ever again. Okay, he could be telling you this and he is not lying to you, ladies. He's not. This is really, truly how he feels. But because of the fact that he is going through, okay, something led him to have an affair, okay? Some kind of emptiness, some kind of hole in his heart, some kind of trauma, some kind of something that didn't feel good made him go and seek out another woman, another situation to feel love, to feel good about himself, okay? Now, what he is failing to realize when he's trying to marry you now, thinking now this is the woman I'm going to be completely faithful to, what he's failing to realize is that one day, at some point, he's going to have negative emotions again. At some point, things will happen where he's going to feel unappreciated. At some point, something is going to happen where maybe he doesn't feel a strong sexual attraction to you. At some point, I mean, this is life, okay? This is real life. At some point, those negative emotions are going to come up again. And because he does not have the skill set to deal with these negative emotions, he will eventually... Go back to cheating as a way to feel better, okay? This is a skill set here. This is a set of mental skills that a person needs so that they do not go to external things to feel better, okay? He is using you as a drug right now. He was in some type of depressed state or negative state in his current relationship, in his current marriage, and he looked to you to be his drug, to be his Prozac, to make those feelings go away. At some point, someday, you're going to do something that's going to invalidate him, okay? That's just part of being a, a human being. Things are going to happen in life, and he's going to try to make himself feel better. And at some point, He's going to reach for the drug that has always worked for him. And it was the infidelity that has always worked for him. It's the sex and love addiction that has always worked for him to make him feel better in those moments. So if he does not have the proper mental skills to be able to overcome those feelings without reaching for an affair partner, he's going to end up having another affair partner. Okay. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you. So if you're in an SD relationship and this man is spending and providing and he's so wonderful, but the only flaw you see in him is that he was married to somebody else when the relationship started and you're starting to think, wow, like, you know, I really love this man. I want to continue with him. I want to get rid of everybody else on my roster. I want to be married to him take this into consideration okay and it doesn't necessarily mean he's lying to you when he's telling you how much he loves you and feels for you and how he would never cheat on you he's not really lying probably he probably really believes that but he's leaving out the part where he never learned the skills to cope with his own emotions that led him to be unfaithful to his wife to begin with if he wants to go and be with you now and start a whole new relationship, 
These are going to be extremely important skills to have a forever relationship with a person, okay? And if he had those skills right now, he would have fixed his current marriage, okay? He would have, I mean, not all the time, but he would at least haven't been able to realize that his problems were coming from inside of himself, okay? If his wife is not some kind of raging violent alcoholic or something like that, some kind of psychotic lunatic, then he should have been able to be with her, stay with her, mend whatever issues they have, and he wouldn't have sought out another woman to feel better, okay? And be careful because a lot of these guys will tell you that their wife, you know, their current wife is like a lunatic when that may not be the truth, okay? So do your research, obviously, and be very, very careful with these kind of situations because you do not want to be a second wife that was um, cheated on, okay? Unless, of course, you don't care about that and you're really just there for the bag and you like you don't mind cheating or if you have like a plan that you're going to marry him, you know, so you have legal ties to his providing and then maybe you're not going to sleep with him anymore after that because you want to protect yourself from any STDs he might be bringing home while he's cheating on you, you know. I'm trying to stay open-minded about this conversation right now because I don't want to offend anyone or discourage anyone from working their plan, okay? Each woman has her own plan of action of how she's going to level herself up and how she's going to get where she's going in life. And sometimes the way women need to do things are not the traditional ways and they're ways that are not accepted by most people. But this is... For the most part, a judgment-free zone over here. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of my perspective on the situation because I know um, there's a lot of people that um, I talk to when I'm coaching and this issue tends to be a very common theme. Okay, These are like for the higher level, the level 8, 9, and 10 sugar baby women um, that are on the level of possibly getting married to one of the men from their roster and ditching all the rest of the people on their roster. So um, this is a common thing that comes up. So I just wanted to talk to you about it a little bit. Talk to you later. Bye for now.